not to, and we're talking about gum disease. No more bleeding gums, no more bad breath, puffy gums, things like that. Have the smile you've always wanted. But one of the things, I said, what is your goal when we talked on the telephone? You said, I want to cure the south side of Chicago of gum disease. Right, right. That's my superhero goal. <laughs> I want to cure my patient population of gum disease. I know I can't cure it, but I can certainly help them manage it and be healthy. So many of my patients have so many medical issues, hypertension, diabetes, all of these problems that lead to early death, I, I just have okay. to say. And infection is not healthy. So I am part of the team of health providers that are really improving patients' quality of life. I believe I'm improving their, their longevity by helping them with their health. And you want to wipe it out. I'm wiping it out. Do you believe that if people go to you early enough, and they use the laser and home care, et cetera, yes. that you, you could wipe it out? That they would not lose their teeth? Oh, they... no question. I, I have patients, I, I'm fortunate that I have a practice that I purchased from another periodontist. So I have patients in their 80s and 90s that still have their teeth. And they've had advanced bone loss forever. So I know that, this, that periodontal therapy works. Okay. All forms of periodontal therapy work. It's just to what level? and how invasive do you have to be to get the result. Now when you talk about bone loss, okay, yes. so this infection under the gum line, yes. it eats at the tooth? It eats at the bone. Eats at the bone? It eats at the bone. Just the bone? Just the bone. So the longer you have this gum disease, yes. like the bleeding gums, one of the symptoms, it makes it tougher to what, save the tooth? Yes. And is that why the, the teeth are loose? Yes. Okay, so the laser goes in, zaps it. I want to make sure I have this correct. Right kills that bacteria yes and the gum grabs onto the tooth a little bit better okay, Do here, I have it somewhat here's right? the deal when you have an infection your body tries to heal it it brings in more blood vessels so if you have a cut if you have a cut you notice it has a period of healing where it's a little puffy it's a little swollen and then it heals over okay. if it were an infected cut it would stay puffy it would stay swollen and it would not heal Okay. All right. So that's what's happening in the mouth. Interesting. So what I do. And nobody would dispute what you're saying, by the way. Oh no. This okay, is. Okay. So yeah. this is a known. No, okay. This is this is just standard wound healing. Okay. If there's a wound, if there's an infection, the body goes through steps right. to heal itself. All right. So what happens is with periodontal disease, the bacteria stay there. So you have this chronic inflammation that just stays there. So what the laser does is it gets rid of the bacteria. It lowers the level of the bacteria so that the body's elements, the healing mechanisms, can be successful. And that's where the regeneration occurs and the reattachment and the connective tissue attachment. And this has been shown, this laser procedure is the only FDA cleared laser for a patented protocol. Okay. This laser has been out for 10 years. It's the only company that actually has the histologic study that shows regeneration and so reattachment. It works. I mean, it definitely works. It works. It works for the patient, and the dentist cannot dispute the science. But it's also made your job a lot easier, you said. You know, in the oh, old yes. days, you would do the cutting procedure for gum disease, which is done, by the way, in Chicago every day. Is that every true? day, oh, across the country. Like hundreds and hundreds, though, in Chicago yes. alone. Yes. <laughs> I mean, periodontal disease is worldwide, okay, but so yes, in no Chicago. More cutting. I mean, you, you shouldn't have to do it with this new laser. Correct. Okay. So, but you say in the old days you would do one side of the mouth. Right. And you I couldn't would, even get them back in for the other. Elaborate on that. Well, of course, I wish I could say all my patients came back for the other half. But often, after that first experience, patients prefer not to finish. As a matter of fact, the first year I had my laser was the worst of the, the, worst of the recession. I had my best year in business. Because all of my patients in my practice that had refused surgical care, accepted the laser treatment. Is it about the same cost, by the way? It's less. As, it's less than the traditional well, in gum my, surgery. Yeah, in my practice, for me personally, I don't charge as much as I did because I'm not working as hard. I'm not using as much material. I don't use bone. But the downtime, I mean, it doesn't hurt. Like. And it doesn't hurt as much. It, it's really an easier procedure for everybody. Now, so who should get this done, by the way? Okay, so people watching this, they have bleeding gums, puffy gums. They have the obvious symptoms, yes. loose teeth. Oh, yeah. They should, they're a candidate for the laser procedure. They're a candidate for periodontal therapy. They need to talk to their dentist. They can easily contact me, but it's quite likely that they would benefit greatly from the laser procedure. Do they need a referral to see a specialist? No, okay. you don't. You don't need a referral. You can just call me directly.
All right, and they get to meet with you? Yes. And they get to meet the rest of the dream they team? They get to or meet the dream team. Pass by the <laughs> they get to meet everybody. All right, okay, good. Now, um, you, you brought a photo. Yes, and I this did. Is, this is very interesting. By the way, if you're watching, just tuning in, we're talking to a periodontist, a Dr. McCollum, and uh, we're talking about new treatment options, new breakthroughs in the treatment of gum disease and having the smile you've always wanted. And this is also about smiling and, and yes. self confidence. But this patient came to you and was told by another dentist, all of those teeth have to be extracted. Yes, and this is a young lady that is in her late 20s, early 30s. Okay. She has a specific type of periodontal disease known as rapidly progressive, okay. which is genetically passed on to each generation. All right. So she was told she had to lose all of her teeth. She wanted a second opinion, which I would advise anyone who's been told they have to lose their teeth, get a second opinion. Go to the dream team. Go to the dream team. <laughs> okay. And so what All we right. did is we assembled a treatment plan for her, which began with my laser treatment. Okay, but when you saw her and you met with her, yes. in your mind, did you go, oh boy, this is going to be This is going to be a tough case, but okay. I think I can help her. I think there's hope. I don't think that right now she has to lose all of her teeth. What were her symptoms, by the way? Bleeding gums, loose teeth, shifting teeth, bad breath. Pretty miserable? Yes. How old? How old is that person? This, this person was probably 32. Interesting. Yes. It's too young to... Obviously oh, yeah, just to even psychologically get your head around losing your teeth in your 30s. It, that, that's just not working. All right, all yeah. right. So what are her options and how do you tell her? Well, her options are to treat the infection, move the teeth back where they belong, and then see what teeth we can keep and what teeth need to go. All right. And that's how we like to approach things. We can't save every tooth all the time, but certainly when teeth have shifted, what we like to do is turn back the hands of time, put those teeth back where they belong. So the main thing is get the, the, the gums healthy. Got to get right? the gums healthy So you go first. in there with your laser. I'm the first man, off. I'm the first man up. Right. I get the gums healthy. I get the bone support healthy, as healthy as I can get it. Okay. And then they go into the next phase. For her, her next phase was braces. Okay. Okay? If she had any active tooth decay, that has to be dealt with. That's what Dr. Ferguson would do. So we did all of that. We had her to the we sent her to the orthodontist for the braces. And then she's still in treatment, but this is how she's looking now. Very nice. She's lost one Those front are the tooth. Same teeth? Well, she lost that front tooth that was looking kind of long. We had to have that one taken out. Very nice. But she's on the road to recovery. She understands. But that's a beautiful smile. It's, she can okay. smile. She was like this. Oh, hello, doctor. You're you know, Is she there a looked, lot of people like oh, that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you see it every day. People that talk to you and then they smile like that, hand up. Or laugh with them. Yeah, or laugh. Uh, so we see that all the time. And our goal is to get that hand down, get them used to smiling, get them comfortable again. But, okay, so in her case, uh, bad breath goes away. Yes. And the teeth. She's going to have loose teeth. I, there, sometimes, I have many patients with loose teeth mm -hmm. because we can't grow back 100% of the bone. Yep. But certainly a loose tooth is better than no but tooth. But eating and chewing is not an issue. Eating and chewing, she can eat better. She may not bite into a hard carrot. I mean, there's certain realities that okay. certain people have to deal with. But, but she that has her own teeth. Case. This is an advanced situation. Are you proud of that case, by the I way? I am. Because she was told all these teeth have I'm to be... I'm very proud. And she keeps up with her maintenance. She, she feels good about herself. She's happy. Is that common, by the way? It's more common than you might think. But is it common that people that were told there's no hope or they thought themselves there's yes. no hope? Oh, yes. I give them problem. hope. That's what they say to me. They say, Doc, you gave really? me hope. Yes. Is Super right? doctor. See, do I you ever, you. when you're out and about, oh. can you spot gum disease? I do. And do you think, boy, I need to get them in here? I kind of give my card out. The really? older I get, the more comfortable I am, which is saying, you know, you need me. Especially you with do this that. laser. Like in what? In the yes. grocery store? In the grocery store. With, especially now that I've got this laser and I know <laughs> I can really? really get this done and it's not going to be as bad as you think, I'll give out my card. Now, your husband who works with you, she works together. They call him the Dream Team General yes. Dentist. Your husband's an oral surgeon. Does right. he ever elbow you and say, please? No, don't yes. Tell, don't give the card. I tell, well, I tell my husband and Dr. Ferguson, don't even call me if you plan on, on taking out teeth, because I will save the teeth. Wow. Don't bring me in the room if you guys want to take out somebody's teeth. Is that right? Yes, because I save teeth.
I don't even want to hear about it. I don't it. even want to hear about it. Great, you know, great information. Final message, though. You know, people, or a recap, I should say. Okay. Um, people that have gum disease, maybe it's been diagnosed, maybe it hasn't been diagnosed. What's your, what's your main message? My main message is to make sure that you are seeing your dentist and finding out if you have gum disease. If you know that you're flossing or brushing and there's bleeding, then you have a problem. Is that right? Yes, and don't let anyone tell you that there's not a problem. So if you're flossing, if you're flossing, a little bit of blood, a little bit of blood, you need to get it checked. You need to make sure your dentist is doing your periodontal exam. Where are exam. they headed with that bloody They're going, flossing? The potential is that you're going to head down the hill of losing bone and losing your teeth. The only way of knowing is if you're under the care of your dentist okay. or your periodontist. All right. a, not everybody progresses to the loss of their teeth, but the only way you know is if you're constantly following up. Just like women get mammograms, just like people get an annual physical and get their blood pressure checked. You need to make sure you're checking for oral health. So that's the message. Don't assume that just because you've got those teeth today, you're going to have them 10 years from now. Okay. Now, without the bleeding, though, they could also just have puffy. No, no, no. Gums, swollen gums. And, and even bleeding isn't a sign. If you're a smoker, if you have diabetes, you need to get things checked out because smoking will mask that sign of bleeding. You don't even know that bleeding is always indicating that there's a problem because a lack of bleeding, you could still have a problem. Some of my patients don't have bleeding gums, but they still have advanced bone loss. So the only really way to know is if you're having consistent periodontal exams. I'm not just saying okay. one exam and then you're okay. I'm saying every one to three years, you need to have a periodontal exam and a heart-to-heart -heart discussion either with your hygienist, okay. I see your general no dentist reason. for you not getting a periodontal exam. To go to a no, it doesn't cost more right. to go to a periodontist. You don't have to have a referral. I can treat an entire mouth of teeth for the cost of replacing one with an implant. So it's cost effective. So, so I get this right. I mean, you, we talked to the telephone. You presented a great case for this. And I looked in San Diego, and I really couldn't find anybody here with this, with this laser, okay? Oh, but, okay. But I couldn't help but think, I want somebody to go around my mouth with this laser and kill any bacteria that I have. Right. I mean, it, logically, I mean, is that fair to say? Yes, I don't yes. really have symptoms, but why not? Why not? And there are different types of lasers. We didn't even get a chance to talk about that, but there are okay. different types of lasers, and that's a whole nother show. You have the best laser? I've got Let the best get... one. <laughs> okay. But there are hygienists that can use a different type of laser okay. on different settings. There's benefits to that laser type treatment. The one that I use is for surgical okay. care. Now, but this, how important is the smile, by the way? Because, because you uh -huh. said on the telephone, you said, Randy, I want to make sure that this is about having the smile you've always wanted. Yes. So, of course, you're a dentist. You think that the smile is important. How well, important is it? Everybody knows it. You may not consciously know it, but subconsciously, you are looking at a person's face. You're seeing that smile, and you're reacting to that smile. I have a story okay. to tell. My father had advanced Alzheimer's. And I showed him a picture of Barack Obama. And I said, Daddy, this guy's running for president. He said, with a smile like that, he can win. <laughs> now, that's what, and my father had advanced dementia, but he still recognized a smile and the importance of a smile. So, women that I talk to, they say, I couldn't deal with that guy, he needed some dental care. Is that right? Oh, yes. Well, Your there's no doubt about it. I mean, a smile we is, all know is attractive. That. Oh, yes. Even on a job interview, if a person's smiling, right. the other person is not smiling, who do you hire? With the, the, with the same background. Exactly. The happy person. Right. right? I want to thank you for coming on the oh, show. Oh, my pleasure, Randy. Oh, you, thank you, know, you for really, having really me. Really, really good stuff. And we're going to have thank your you. husband on the show as yes. well. I can't wait to meet him. And uh, so final messages, call, make an appointment, visit right. your website. Definitely. Visit our website. Okay. We, you can get a lot of information there. You can call. We do a complimentary consultation. We'd love to have you come to the South Side and visit us. Visit your dental dream the team. The dream team. All right. Yes. Thanks again. You've been watching the wellness.